just wanted to take a moment and build briefly about the science of equality. And I want to frame it within the context of a popular phrase in the Middle Ages of Europe called pig in the poke. Now, pig in the poke was a confidence game or a blind sell that people used when there was a scarcity of meat during that time. And this is the way that the game was played. A person that was looking for meat would come in contact with a person who would take a poke, which is a satchel or a sack, and put a dog or a cat in it and then sell it to this naive person thinking that it was a pig inside of that poke. Now, that person wasn't given the opportunity to examine that product up front. They were just told, I got a pig in the poke, and this is how much it costs. So the naive person would give them the money, take that pig in the poke home, and then when they look inside that sack, they find out that it's a damn dog or a cat. The reason why I'm utilizing this as an example of the signs of equality is because as five percenters, we strive to engage people from a position of an educated decision, meaning our foundation is knowledge, which means to know and be aware. So we encourage people to learn as much as possible and to make an educated decision before they want to commit themselves to learning about our principles and our values. We don't expect people to just believe anything or to just go on whatever they feel or to make a blind sell or we don't engage people from a pig in the poke premise. Now, when you look at secret societies and their auxiliary bodies, as well as many religions, not all, but many religions, they engage people from a pig in the poke premise because in secret societies and their auxiliary bodies, they're not up front in regards to telling a person everything they need to know before they join, participate, or start paying dues. In many of them, people are hoodwinked up front. You're literally blindfolded before you're exposed to so-called light or what it is that you're joining. That's a pig in the poke premise. Same thing with a lot of religions, not all, but a lot of religions. People are expected to just believe and have faith up front. They're not encouraged to get knowledge or to make an educated decision before they join some religious body or participate or start paying membership dues in these religions. Same pig in the poke premise. So when you look at the science of equality, that represents the number six. Break it down to one in five, that's knowledge power. So as five percenters, we strive to engage people from the position of knowing what the power dynamics are up front. We are transparent. We give people the resources or point them in the right direction so that they can make an educated decision about what this way of life is. We don't engage people from no pig in the poke premise. When you look at knowledge power, that's the number 15. Our 15th lesson or 15th degree in the 1 to 40s asks us the question, who are the 10%? And the answer to that lesson is they are the rich slave makers of the poor who teach the poor lies to believe that the almighty true and living God is a spook in the sky, which can't be seen by the physical eye, otherwise known as blood suckers of the poor. So when a person is engaged from a pig in a poke premise, that is a 10 percent posture. Because a person is coming from a position of vulnerability and no transparency. They're buying into something and making a blind sale that they have no idea what it is that they're getting. It's easy to blood suck a person from that position. And that is one of the same tenets that capitalism, especially crony capitalism, is based upon. Not being transparent. And getting a person to buy into something before they even know what it is that they actually bought. So that is one of the main reasons why as a 5%, we don't advocate joining or participating in any kind of secret societies or any of their auxiliary bodies. Nor do we advocate religion. Because it's not engaging a person from the position of knowing the power dynamics. Knowledge power. Therefore... People are joining and participating and paying dues into societies and religions that is not equitable or equal to them. Now, some people will sit there and say, well, you know, we're well intended. You know, it's it's not negative and people are going to benefit from joining this religion or being a part of the secret society. The premise itself is not equitable. A person can have all of the best intentions in the world. Look at that in terms of a, of a relationship. Why would you participate or join or get with somebody 
who is not striving to be transparent or share with you everything up front, but at the same time, expecting you to pay dues into that relationship and share everything about yourself. That's not fair. That person can have all the best intentions in the world, but the setup itself is a pig in the poke. And that's not fair. Anything that's set up on those premises is a 10% posture. And that's something that we don't advocate as a 5%. So I will, this was inspiring, it was empowering, it was educational, and it gave you some insight into not only equality, but the science of knowledge, power, or power dynamics, and why it's important to engage people from the premise of transparency and them being allowed to make an educated decision before they join and participate in something. Because if it's not, that shit ain't nothing but a pig and a damn poke. Peace.